Boostword has launched the AV1 codec for Ultra users to use. In the cloud gaming space, you might have heard about the AV1 codec, and the benefits of AV1 is pretty clear for both sides. AV1 will generate high-quality video that requires less bitrate. This benefits not only Boosteroid, but for you, especially if you don't have the best internet. Right now, Boosteroid only has this available through the browser. Log into your Boosteroid account, go to the account page, and switch the AV1 option on. In-game, you'll be able to max out at only 40 megabits per second to provide the highest quality 4K gameplay video possible. Now, this sounds great and it's needed, but here's the problem with going with the AV1 codec. You might have noticed that the blog post here says streaming with AV1 is currently supported in the browser on devices that include native AV1 hardware decoding. There's a GPU requirement for using AV1. You're going to need a GPU that is of the same generation as, let's say, an AMD RDNA 2 or an NVIDIA RTX 30 series or higher. Now, there's a lot of different hardware that will also qualify, but the issue is that most people play on Boostroid because they don't have a GPU of this caliber. But the benefits of AV1 going forward will be great. It's only a matter of time when the majority of hardware out there will be able to decode AV1. Every year that goes by, more and more devices like TVs, laptops, and even media dongles like the Amazon Fire TV Stick will be able to decode AV1. And this is kind of the point. The most recent Amazon 4K Fire TV Stick is able to decode AV1, so I see Boosteroid launching on the Amazon Fire TV Stick very soon because of this. They are probably waiting until they get AV1 available on their app. There's also a big benefit for Boosteroid or any other cloud provider using AV1. AV1 is free to use. The older codecs, H.264 and 265, actually require a license which costs money probably millions a year for Boosteroid. This is why companies like Boosteroid can't wait to start using AV1 on a regular basis. They already save money with AV1 by saving bandwidth. Now, they'll try to save even more by trying to get rid of the H.264 and 5 license altogether. Now, I did a quick test with it with Expedition 33. I noticed that if you have the bitrate option unchecked, your bitrate can go higher than 40. Now, if you turn the bitrate slider on, the bitrate does stay around 40, and it can go slightly higher, though. In this instance, it stayed around 20, which cut the bitrate in half. So, it does work, but I usually stay away from the browser because this footage had no sound. I also had problems with my controller connecting. These problems happen to me a lot on the browser, so let me know if they happen to you, too. So, the question is... Will you be using AV1 with Boosteroid? Do you have the hardware to decode it? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this update on Boosteroid, give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon and our Discord in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep it locked right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle. <laughs>